Hi there, this is Josh. We're going to be doing a 10 minute yin sequence today, doing five postures just to loosen the body up. For this yin class, you want to take anywhere from three to 10 breaths in each posture. Starting from a seated hero's pose, sit in between the heels with your hands on your thighs, eyes closed, and begin breathing here in this posture. Feel free to use a block underneath your seat if that's easier for you. Taking deep inhales and even deeper exhales. After a few breaths, if it's within your practice, move into reclined hero's pose, slowly moving down onto your elbows or completely on your back, depending on your range of motion. And on your next inhale, when you're ready to come back up, slowly press the hands into the feet, come up one side at a time, moving into lying flat on your belly at the front of your mat. Coming into Sphinx Pose, positioning your elbows underneath the shoulders, pressing the forearms flat onto the mat, pressing as hard as you can, and then bringing the shoulders up and back, pinching the shoulder blades behind you, pressing the hips into the ground, feeling a nice front body stretch as you breathe. Looking to the right side, reaching back behind you, bending the right knee, grabbing the right foot for a nice quad stretch on top of the Sphinx pose. And slowly release the right leg, moving back into Sphinx Pose, and then looking to your left, taking the left hand to grab the left foot for a quad stretch on the left side. On your next exhale, releasing the left foot, pressing up and out of the pose into a wide-legged forward fold, pressing the hips up and back, coming down to either your hands or your forearms, whatever is in within reach, maybe one day bringing the crown of the head to the mat. Again, here breathing into the tight spaces of the body, whether that be the hips or the hamstrings. And with each exhale, surrendering the upper body further to the mat. Taking any variation here to increase the stretch in the hamstrings and the hips as you breathe. On an inhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulders and press up. On an exhale, skandasana to the right, bending the right knee, trying to bring your glute to that right heel, straightening out the left leg with your big toe pointed up towards the ceiling and bringing the hands to heart center as you close your eyes.
slow, deep, controlled breaths here. On an inhale, come out of the pose, moving towards center, which is your wide-legged forward fold. And exhale, move to Skandasana on the second side. Try to keep your upper body as lifted as possible in this pose. On your next inhale, open the eyes, press yourself up and back into your wide-legged forward fold. Slowly come all the way up towards standing and move into a yogi squat, bringing the heels slightly wider than the shoulders, pressing the knees into the thighs and pressing the thighs into the elbows, and sitting as deep as you can in this squat. To make this an active stretch, slowly rock from one side to the other to get a nice deep stretch in your hips. Bringing the hands to heart center. And then on an exhale, moving out of that pose and into frog pose. Come to a tabletop position and slowly move the knees as far away from center as possible. Once you reach your limit, bring your ankles in parallel to the knees bring the upper body down towards the mat. Feel free to stay on your hands or on the elbows or forearms, whatever is most comfortable for you as you sink the hips back to increase the stretch in the hips. Again, slow, controlled breaths in and out while in this pose. On your next inhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, slowly press the upper body up, and slowly move the knees back towards center. Moving to a comfortable seat once again on your mat, bringing the hands on the top of the thighs with the eyes closed. Taking another few deep breaths here to end our 10 minute yin sequence. <laughs> 